Hello, SoCon athletes, and welcome to event number four. Event number four is a redo where we previewed it back in early February. It is a seven minute AMRAP with one push up or handstand push up, one power clean, adding one rep each round. Uh, we have three different options for the competition categories of our push up. Option one, movement standard, uh, is hands around the bench. Option two, hands around the floor. Option three, we're doing a handstand push-up. So movement standard for the bench. We have to be in something like a plank and we have to make contact with the bench at the front of our chest before fully locking out again. So lock out at the top, make contact, lock out at the top again. We have to be in something like a plank, so uh, something like a pike where we're touching, uh, that would be a no rep. Uh, something where we get close, but don't actually make contact no rep, something where we make contact but then can't push out until uh, without putting a foot underneath, that would also be a no rep. Um, for the floor, same basic concept applies. We have to be in a nice strong plank, locked out to start, touch, lock out. So again, if we don't quite touch, that is a no rep. If we touch but then end up putting knees down or belly down, that is also a no rep. Handstand push-up. For the handstand push-up, we must start and end in a handstand, heels touching the wall. At the bottom, we're in a headstand, hips touching the wall. So in the middle of that, nothing necessarily has to be touching the wall, but we start with heels touching the wall, middle, hips touching the wall, and heels touching the wall again. So again, we're starting in handstand, heels touch, at the bottom, hips touch. At the top, heels touch again. So no rep would be, we don't quite get up before we come down. That would be a no rep. Another no rep would be hips don't touch before back up, or heels don't touch at the top. And we fall away from the wall without those heels touching. All three of those are no reps. So Heels touch at the top, touch at the top, hips touch at the bottom. Go from a handstand all the way to the floor and another handstand. Another way we can feel this is if we like kick up into our handstand to begin our rep. The rep starts and finishes in that handstand. All right, those are our movement standards for the push-up. Uh, of course, if you would like to elevate your hands higher for a push-up or if you would like to have say an ab mat on the floor for your chest so you're not doing full range of motion but you're still touching something, absolutely do that. That will put you in the play category, which is great. You can mix and match. Maybe that's safer for your present shoulder range of motion or whatever. Absolutely feel free to use those options. Power clean. In this case, power clean just means there's no squat that's required. So for a power clean, we're coming off the floor each time. We're bringing the bar up to our front rack position and we're standing all the way up. So we can do that, touch and go or singles. We can do a muscle clean with no re-dip. We can power clean, slight re-dip. We can also do a full squat clean, catching in our squat, standing all the way up. Ways to no rep that, not making it all the way to the floor between reps. That would be a no rep. Not standing all the way up, would be another no rep. So even if you do power clean, but you let it go before standing all the way up, that would be a no rep. So for a power clean, we want to catch here, stand all the way up, and then reset. Or if we are doing our squat clean, we get down here, and we can't quite stand it up, and we lose the rep that way. So must touch the floor each time, must end in front rack standing. And I would say, you know, something like this might not count as a full rep because our elbows are not under or past the bar, so we're really not making it all the way to that movement standard. If we were here, that counts, but we wouldn't want to be catching here and like kind of shoving the hips up and calling that a rep. So it must be in a more or less full front rack position. All right, that's it. Seven minutes of fury. Uh, good luck. Have fun.